Hi friends, it's Nirmal from Nandanam Exotics and today we will be featuring an appendix called as Gaya Buddha. Let's take a look. So today we are looking at a very complex hybrid Nepenthes that has ma three major species of Nepenthes combined into its parentage Cassiana, Ventricosa and Maxima. So those of who know Nepenthes and are very familiar with carnivorous plants know that these three are very prominent names in the Nepenthes business. So all three give a lot of uh, awesome characters to this hybrid. Uh, of course, I am very happy to know that Cassiana is a parent because Cassiana comes from India and being an Indian, I am like a little excited to know that. Other than that, uh, from all the major parents, you can see that the pictures are also very big and hefty. They do have a lot of features from these parents as well, especially the coloration and the markings on the picture really resembles that of Cassiana. Mm, other than that, I can note that they have, uh, the color on the picture as it matures is very contrasting and it gives a very coppery red color. That is why this hybrid is also really very popular in the hobby these days. This can be classified as a lowland Nepenthes. So I know most of you are wondering what is inside these pictures. So let's just take a look. This is a fresh picture, so you can't find any bugs. This has been there for a week or so, so it has got some picture, uh, insects as you can see. The digestive fluid that you see is produced by the picture. It's not something that rain or the grower, as, as in this case myself, put in there. Yeah, the picture produces all that liquid as a digestive enzyme. See, this is an old picture. Uh, you can see how many bugs they have got. And during the season, it will keep on decaying and digesting in the picture. And finally, the plant will absorb the nutrients from it. So uh, for care, this plant requires a lot of light. They do not like direct sun, but they definitely need a very strong, bright light. Um, when it comes to water, they need the most purest and cleanest water you can provide them. If you are having rainwater or distilled uh, water, that will be the best. But um, otherwise, just get the best water you can. Medium always I choose with uh, for carnivorous plants and nepenthes. Uh, cocoa peat uh, and sphagnum moss is the most commonly used medium. Pot. Usually I pot them in um, plastic or ceramic just to reduce leaching of minerals from the pot into the medium. There are growers who grow their plants in clay and terracotta. Mm, other than that, they are pretty much easy to grow. Always keep a tight schedule of watering. Never let your plant dry out because that's a very big no-no when it comes to Nepenthes. Disease-wise, they are very easy to grow because I have not experienced many diseases in my Nepenthes. Mm, overall, cleanliness would keep the plant happy. So I hope you guys like my video today. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have an interest or a spark for plants. Thanks for watching.